problem number two on the long response questions. And again, this is a three-part word problem. So the word problem says, a test of the stopping distance in feet of a sports car was conducted by the editors of an auto magazine. For one car, the position function was determined to be S of T equals 60 T minus 7 halves T squared minus 1 sixth T cubed. Where S of T measured in feet um, and T in seconds, and where T equals 0 corresponds to the time the brakes were first applied. So part A asks us to find the velocity of the car when the brakes were first applied. Be sure to include units in your answer. So velocity is just the derivative of position, so we want to find S prime of T, and we're just going to take the derivative. And that gives me 60 minus 2 times 7 halves is negative 7, T to the 2 minus 1, which is just 1, minus 3 over 6, T squared. So that gives me that my velocity position, or my velocity equation is equal to 60 minus 7t minus 1 half t squared. Now it wants to find, us to find out the velocity when the brakes were first applied. And in the original question, it let us know that time t equals 0 corresponds to the time the brakes were first applied. So we're going to find v of 0. You just plug uh, 0 in for t. And that gives me 60. And since this is velocity, we know that this is 60 miles per hour. Or actually, not miles per hour, because if we look back to our units, this is in feet and seconds. So this is feet per second. says, now find the time it takes for the car to stop. Hint, what is the velocity at that time? So I'm going to leave our velocity formula because that is what we're going to use. Um, I'm going to actually just rewrite it. So, that gives me, so this is part B, my velocity formula. We have our velocity formula. So what is the velocity at the time that the car is stopped? So if the car is not moving, we know that our velocity is going to be zero. So we need to set this equation equal to zero. Alright, and then we're going to solve. And I solved by using the quadratic formula because I didn't really want to factor this. So I said that t is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 7 squared, which is 49, minus 4 times a, or sorry, a is, our formula is kind of written a little bit backwards, but times a times c all over 2 times a, so 2 times the negative 1 half. So this formula would really be written as negative one half t squared minus seven t plus sixty. Okay, so I saw this and I get seven plus or minus the square root of forty nine. Um, negative four times a negative one half gives me positive two times sixty is one hundred and twenty all over 2 times negative 1 half, which is a negative 1. So we get 7 plus or minus the square root of 169 over negative 1. Well, the square root of 169 is 13. So going over here, we have 7, 7 plus 13 over negative 1 and 7 minus 13 over negative 1. So this will give me a negative 20, and this will give me um, positive 6. And again, remember that t is in seconds, so we can't have a negative time. So the only answer that we can have is 6. 
So t is equal to 6, and this is in seconds. And again, there are probably a couple ways that you could have done this. You could have, um, you know, you could have factored and found that t is equal um, to 6, not 20. So um, lots of different ways. Okay. And then we have one more part to this question, and it is part c. And it says, what is the stopping distance? So for stopping distance, we need to go back to our position function. And we are going to take the position at the time that we are stopped. Remember, it was at t equals 6. And we're going to subtract the position when we started, which was t equals 0. So I need to find s of 6. So s of 6 is equal to 60 times 6 minus 7 halves times 6 squared minus 1 6 times 6 cubed. And then we're going to subtract s of 0, but I'll do that at the end. So 60 times 6 is 360 minus 6 squared is 36 divided by 2 is 18. And 18 times 7, I don't know off the top of my head, so I can just do it over here. 7 times 8 is 56. That's um, 12, so 126, so minus 126, minus, and then this cancels with one of these, so 6 squared is just 36. So I get that S of 6 is 360 minus 126 minus 36, which is 198. And now I need to find that minus s of 0. So s of 0 is just going to be 0 plugged in. And so that's 60 times 0 minus 7 halves times 0 squared minus 1 6 times 0 cubed. So this is just equal to 0. So our um, total distance is 198 minus 0. So it's just equal to 198. That is your answer for part C.